Fox and Friends decided to give women advice on how to keep a man. <laughs> that already seems so silly. Like, what does that even mean? We're going to tell you how you can keep keep a man. Like he's a fish. <laughs> and you just brought him in the boat. Like, what is that? Uh, and they say this is based on a study. And look at how even they get uncomfortable with the tips. Here are some tips if you want to meet a man and you want to continue to stay with a man in the new year. This is a new dating study that has just come out of New York. It's written by men. Yeah. But I Single men clearly. and married men, right? I think it's one of the best studies we've ever featured here on the show <laughs> and highly accurate. Here's one of the tips they say, no matter where a woman is in life, she should always be able to cater to her man's needs. So. Let me get this right. Even if she's like nine months pregnant, her she's back is right, killing her. Right. She needs to get up off the couch and get him a beer. I will say, like, <laughs> if I know I'm going out of town for a story, I try to stock the refrigerator with some of his favorites. That's sweet. So I try to do that. I, I might okay. be in another state, but I'm trying My to wife does this too, me. absolutely. All right, yeah. then you're one for one, Ainsley, so far. How about this? When Not he gets always. his ego stroked, he will be more inclined to love you. That is so more. true. That's obvious. <laughs> That's right? so true. Yeah. Men are simple. I need to, we need to remember to do that more, though. And, you know, it goes for men. Same hey, okay, okay. so, so far you like the first two. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see, round it out with prepare his meals, draw him a bath, and massage his feet. All right, now that goes a little man. too far. That's too no, far. I'm not, all of that. You can't draw him a bubble bath. Well, you, you just have to let him his favorite stuff okay, in the I'll, fridge. Okay, I'll do the first one. I'll prepare meals. Draw him a bath. First of all, we live in a pre-war building. The bathtub is that tall, and it's about that wide. His legs would be you know, okay, coming so out of the Okay, so low water bush. bill. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> he would not like the bath. No arguments about money there. What was the last there? one? The and massage, massage his, feet. his feet. No way. Okay, you just no said way. his feet are going to be sticking out of the tub anyway. Right. First of all, who put Steve Ducey in a time machine to when he was 24? Does that guy not look exactly like a 24-year-old Steve Ducey? He probably has the same IQ also, which, as well, is 24. So, second of all, when they say, you know, you should stroke a man's ego for more love, I have to admit, my first thought was, well, you missed the mark with your stroke. I can think of something else I'd rather have stroked. But all joking aside, dude, it's not 1952. Okay, uh, enough with this. In today's world, you have to look at it through the lens of today, because that's the only way you can really be objective when you talk about issues like this. And in today's world, women and men work. It's not just the case that the man goes out and the man works and then the woman is the ha homekeeper and she cooks the meals and does the laundry and all that stuff. That's not the way it works all the time anymore. In fact, I don't even know if that's the norm anymore. Now you have men and women working. So that's not the default position anymore that women need to do the laundry and they need to cook the meals and they need to cater to the man. Any more than the reverse is the default position now, that the man should do all those things. If both of them are going out and they're working, they're going to have to work out whatever kind of deal they want in their own personal lives to deal with that other stuff at home. And in some cases, they might be do it 50-50, right? The man might do it half the time, the woman might do it half the time. The man might be allocated to certain duties, like you do cleaning duty and I'll do cooking duty, or... As some In some cases, I'm sure they still have it where it's like the woman works with the guy and the woman does all the work at home or the man does all the work at home and they both go to work. Or Living situations are very malleable today. And what these malleable situations show us is that it's not the case that, that the old school misogynist would believe that, nope, a woman has a role and it's very defined and they can't deviate from that role. A woman can't be in the workplace. A woman has to stay at home and has to raise the kids and has to do the laundry and has to do all this stuff. That's not the way it works anymore. And we know that that's not, it's not in our nature that the only way it could be set up is a man earns the money and the woman does all this stuff at home. No. You have all these different options and all these different ways of uh, approaching a life. And look, it, it is condescending, keep it real, to do some sort of a thing like that where you say, women, here are all the things your man likes. Like, you could do it, but just understand that it's kind of douchey, right? It's just as douchey as if the women released a list where they said, all right, men, here's how you need to act around us and how you need to make us happy. Do this now. Be a good little boy. They fucking pat you on the head. They treat you like you're a puppy. 
Here's your role now. Can you read? Do you see it? You need me to explain it to you? Here, go fetch. I just Look, I'm just tired of the whole... Maybe it's just me. I don't know, but I'm tired of the whole, like, discussing things in this gross, general way of women should do X. Men should do X. Can we just talk about it like people, right? We are people. We are in a relationship. This is how we make it work. How do you make it work? But no. They make a list which is incredibly sexist. I mean... It wasn't even right, you know? Like, I don't want, as a man, this list is supposed to objectively represent men. It's a study. Yeah, I don't want you to massage my feet while I'm in the bathtub. I would much rather you blow me in the morning, and then we fuck at night, <laughs> right? At least if you're gonna do something misogynistic like that, at least make it true.